Hello, this is Channel 48 Puck. I hope you're doing fine. This is a clone from myself and I will be using this clone in the coming time. So when you see me, you know that I'm not real. Yeah, this is a computer AI model. My voice is not completely 100%, but it sounds pretty good. We're gonna talk about operating systems for the Samsung Galaxy S9, S10, S8, S7, and S6. We're gonna go through the complete row. The S5 we already showed, and it was pretty good. The build by Calvat, and Calvat did a great job making this room a fantastic room for the Samsung Galaxy S5. Android 14 was just amazing to see. Lineage OS is not there yet. Uh, the official builds will soon come, but for now you can still get the very latest official ROMs for the S10, for instance, by Lineage OS with the latest security patches. In some days, we're gonna have the February build for the S9 as well. So the S10 and the S9 are fully supported by official lineage OS and I'm just kidding I'm not an AI <laughs> I got you so this is real me okay this is just real me um, so lineage OS has uh, the builds for the S10 and the S9 Ivan Miller just released some days ago his Android 13 uh, as well for the S8 plus including the Note 8 and the S7, we should not forget, is as well supported by Ivan Miller, not only Lineage OS 20, Android 13, but as well 12 and 11, Lineage OS 19 and 18. Those can still be installed, and some choose to install the Lineage OS 18 or the 19, and others prefer the 20. We are still waiting for 21. Not sure what is happening, but I think it will soon arrive. Sooner or later, it will arrive by Ivan Miller. Keep supporting him because he needs the support. Um, I installed the ROMs as well on my uh, devices and the install is, is very similar to what we already know. There's nothing special about it. Um, Oh yeah, I should not forget, Fake Man Own as well released the newest Android 13 build for the S6, including uh, fixes and updates that he brought to the operating system. He did not forget about the S6, so Fake Man Own as well, a big up to you. So the S6, S7, S8, the S9 and the S10 are fully backed by good developers, okay? Um, the S5, you already know, you should check out the build soon uh, that will appear on, on, on Source Force, okay? Because there you can find all the builds for all the models of the S5. The S4 is a little problematic. I don't know what is happening with my friends there, the JDC team. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried because I as well don't hear from Sight anymore but Sight is as well working on the S4 uh, the official ROMs by Lineage OS and for the S4 you can as well get an official build by Lineage OS for all these builds count that you can install GAPS PICO GAPS to the system so you will have uh, contact with the Google ecosystem now um, I know that you guys want to see uh, even more install videos, but I made them all already. I worked really hard last year and uh, yeah, in fact, some of these videos still have low views and I just give the people and YouTube system the time for, you know, the people to get to these videos so they will actually be watched. Uh, even better, all right. Um, 
many as for the A10, the A20, the A30, and the A40. Well, Eureka team uh, released Android 14, and I showed it uh, not so long ago. It's out there for the complete family of the A10, 20, 30, the 30E I thought I saw, and uh, the A40. Uh, so check that out. That's all available, guys, really. And if you want to know how to install it, that video is on my channel. If I have that phone, then the installation procedures are on my channel. Just find them, go to my main YouTube website, Find the search with the computer. I don't think you can search with a mobile device uh, through my videos. So if you're on a mobile device, please find find the computer and go to my main website. And out there, you're going to find gold for your devices. Amazingly nice ROMs that I showed in the last 17 years. And especially the last four years that I as well learned a bit more about Android and start making ROMs. I have very special ROMs out there, things that, yeah, ROMs that don't exist that you won't see anywhere else, you know, only here on channel 48. <laughs> yeah, that's just how it is. But um, yeah, the ROMs always come from good developers and you will always have a reasonable, good experience. Uh, when installing any of these ROMs that I show. Now, we covered the A series, we covered the S series, the S3 got Android 14 by HTML, he as well has Android 13, and even older builds, 11, 10, E Foundation, not to forget, is as well still supporting, well, not su no, it's not supporting the S3 anymore. There is a Nougat version out there, for those that love the iOS look and feels, should as well check out e.foundation, an amazing website that as well gives a lot of support to all the devices, the A510FN, I think it is. I as well have a nice room for that. Find it in my list, guys. Really, you're gonna find treasure if you're gonna go through the search and really go through my video list. All right, so it takes a bit to find these 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 videos, but if you get the right ones uh, for the right devices, you're gonna have a great experience afterwards. About the S2, the i9100, I can say, um, yeah, it got it all. Eh? I mean, like it got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen by Rinando and Rinando. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's gonna bring 14. I mean, like, don't count on it, you know? You should just treat that S2 i9100 of yours if you as well changed, made the bit greater. You can then install Android 7 and above. You know, if you install Android 7 and above, experience will as well go, kinda, you know? It's not... Yeah, it's an old device, guys, so you cannot expect that you're going to use it as your daily device or whatsoever, maybe on Android 7, but then still you cannot use it as a daily device. Honestly, it's outdated. You know, you can still use it to play with, make phone calls and maybe run some apps. You can run Copilot on it, you know, so you can use the thing as a little robot and then, you, you know, chat GPT and these things. So yeah, you can do these things. Uh, I will soon make some new, uh, or I will put together some ROMs, see if it's possible, if they're not too old, and see if we can make something usable for these old devices still, the S2 and the S1. They are a little bit problematic because of the, yeah, they're not so strong. They are kind of weak, the, well, they're old devices, they are not weak. These are flagships from the past. Some as well as about the S2 Plus. The S2 Plus is a device uh, that I still have running Android 7.12 by Rinando as well. He made a build and that build suited me really good. So I'm still using that build. It works on the P and on the normal uh, version of the 9105. And then the tablets, yeah. The tablet, the T713 and the 8, what is it, 820 or 8? 813 as well. The S2 tablets, um, I have two of them and they both uh, have yeah, great ROMs yeah, 
out there. Uh, Android 11, for instance, for the T7 13. And yeah, experience is not bad because these devices, they have good processors. They, they, yeah, they are not, they are only outdated because Samsung said they are outdated, but in fact, Samsung could, you know, have a department that would, for instance, make uh, lighter builds, higher builds of Android, but then lighter builds for these devices still, and it would work. But because of, yeah, yeah business you know you cannot keep supporting these old at a certain moment they must go and make place for new ones but yeah many people in this world yeah not everybody is so rich to buy a new device so that's why this channel is giving support to all the older devices you know and the people that are poor we have mercy on them and we try to help them to to get you know that things kind of even better than they have they cannot run certain apps anymore so higher build helps but i always tell you guys hey no banking no 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 uh uh yeah no things that can bring you in trouble you know use the thing with yeah with a kind of conscious mind and always have caution you know use two-step verification passwords uh, if you're gonna use your email on the thing you know so you just have some some extra layer of security you know these are all the devices and the boys out there they are very smart they are very smart gladly they are not hacking the the, the small users and and things like that they mo they have more eye for companies like microsoft that as well got hacked you know microsoft got hacked because they in fact <laughs> they did not keep to the two most important security cyber security rules and these are two always log off from your accounts, you know, and, and, yeah, log off of the accounts and, you know, log in again whenever you want to go to that special uh, uh, server or whatsoever you're connecting to. It's very important, but they forgot about it. You know, they, they just, like you and me, probably leave our passwords you know in in the browser so the next time when we go to the site we don't have to go and type passwords again because yeah type uh, typing passwords is, is driving users completely nuts i have it myself i hate passwords but yeah it's a must these days and gladly we as well have help uh, of the internet that can put some secure password for you that you would never want to type because it would take at least one minute to type it you know um so yeah, security is very important if you're using these, these older devices uh, still, especially if they are as well being on still very old uh, firmware that was not yeah, updated anymore, no development anymore. Yeah, developers are not interested to, to, to go and develop ROMs for these older devices. You know, most of the times it's the newcomers in the development world that have an eye for these old devices because they have one as well and they, you know, want to make a ROM for it. That's how, you know, ROMs are still being created for these old devices. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, always be careful. Um, support, you will find more than enough. I should go through all my phones and, and devices again to, to bring you ROMs that, yeah, and videos that you can look at and, and as well learn from, you know, to get, your, get to know your device even better. Um, so that all um, will still come, so don't think because you're seeing all sorts of AI projects passing by AI news and things like that. Yeah. Don't think that my channel will suddenly become some static channel. I will not, you know, I will not let that happen. As long as I live, you know, I will come live or live. I will come on camera and you can talk to me and you can see me and, you know, you can ask me questions. I answer really fast, um, kind of instantly. Sometimes I answer so fast that the computers of YouTube don't realize it yet that I answered. So the guy is not even getting the answer instantly. Only sometimes that happens, but most of the times it takes minutes before they realize that I already answered. And they're like, hey, thank you for answering. You know, cause yeah, nobody answers when they ask questions on other uh, YouTube sites. So yeah, YouTubers, please, you know, if somebody talks to you, answer, it's a human. 
Not because you are big and have a lot of subscribers. You should treat these people like, like nobodies. Don't be like that. Okay, if you get 1,000 <laughs> questions a day, then it's a little bit hard. I don't get so much questions every day. I do get a lot. And in my spam folder, I as well find a lot of good comments that should not be in the spam folder. So I don't know why they uh, get into there, but I look and check every day. So, you know, uh, I still find the, your questions or your uh, requests for sharing uh, certain files. Okay, and then, you know, I answer instantly. So a lot of talking, 15 minutes talking. So now you know what the 2024 will be for my channel. Uh, my news things will still come. Because I, I just love making the new, I, I think it's amazing, <laughs> you know, that we have these live AI models. I always wished for these things in the past, you know, and now I have it and yeah, and now I as well want to use it and, 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 and do some projects on that. And I see that my Suriname people, they love at least, yeah, what I could see, almost 600 views, some hours uploaded. That's better than most of the Android videos that I upload. So my Suriname people, Thank you so much for supporting me. You know, I love you so much. You never let me down. And uh, I will as well keep making, you know, um, yeah, Suriname videos with, with colorized things, uh, but as well American and, and, and UK and, and Australia and India, Indonesia. I'm gonna do everything, all, but I cannot do it all at once. You know, and I must first create all these things and it takes time to make these things. So that's why sometimes one or two days you don't hear from me because then I'm just working on my computer. So that's it. Thank you for watching my lovely Channel 48 family. Uh, you can consider this a live show, even though it was not live. I did not cut in this video. I will not edit it. I will just upload it, including the mistake that I made there at the beginning when I was trying to say something. I'm gonna leave it in there. Or should I remove it? I will remove it. But the rest is, you can consider this show a live show. So um, be good, okay, my friends. Uh, live in peace. And uh, yeah, God bless us all and God, God bless this world, all right? So we all have more love in our hearts for, for each other.